Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL video tutorial on our channel Learn at No Star. In today's tutorial, we are going to write a SQL query to extract odd or even numbered characters from a string. So for example, let's say that we want to extract odd numbered characters and our string is No Star. So if you give a position to each alphabet of the string, uh, you want to extract only those characters which occur at odd positions so for example 1 3 5 and 7 so from no star if you want to extract the extracted result would be k which is at the first position o which is at third position s which is at the fifth position and a which is at the seventh position so let's see how this can be done now there are various ways to do this. We are going to discuss a way which involves creating a CTE and then using that to achieve the desired objective. So first of all, let's declare our string and store it in a variable. So I'm just going to declare a variable of type vector 50 and I'm just going to store a value in it, no star. The second variable that I'm going to declare is for the starting position of the string. So I'm just going to say start integer and let's say we want to start with odd numbered characters. So let's give it the value of one. We'll see how this will be used in the CTE. So the next step is to declare that CTE. Now the CTE that we are going to use is a recursive CTE because we are going to generate a list of numbers. So we are going to generate the list of odd numbers and then keep on extracting the alphabets from that position. So just declare the CTE. So with, uh, let's say recursive CTE as so the first part which is the non-recursive part of the CTE is just going to be selecting these columns so select add variable as variable and the start position as start and then we are going to combine it with the recursive portion of this CTE. So let's just move it here. And this is going to be select variable. And then for the position, we are going to increment the position by two. That's how it is going to pick up every alternate character or every odd numbered character. So we are going to start with one. If I add a two to it, it will become three. Adding a two to three will make it five and so on. So what I'm going to do is just say at start, not at start, we have already declared that above as the column name start. So start plus two from the CTE that we just declared so from recursive underscore CTE and then we are going to add a where clause so where this start position is less than the length of the string is less than the length of the original string which is add variable so this completes our CTE now what this CD is going to do, it is going to generate a list of numbers which will correspond to the odd numbers, odd positions of the string. So let's just do a simple select star on this CTE and we can see what the results are. So if I execute till here, these are the results that we have got. Now this is not a desired output. What we want is now we want to go and extract the first position here. So K and then the third character from here, fifth position, uh, fifth character and so on. So to extract these, we simply need to use a substring function. So what I'm going to do now is, instead of the star, we are going to do a substring on the original variable and the start position from here so start and we are going to extract one position so now if i execute this 
So now we see that it has tried to extract the ninth position as well. And though nothing has been extracted, it's an empty string, but it's not a neat solution. So we are going to revise the solution. And what we're going to do is we are going to add plus two over here. So here it is going to exit the loop as soon as the value of start becomes seven, because then what it is going to check is now the value of start this whole calculation has become seven and then because it is a recursive cd it is going to refer to that value over here and it is going to say that as soon as seven plus two which is nine which is greater than the length of our variable no star as soon as that happens exit the loop so in that case we are not going to get this ninth position over here and in that case we can eliminate this empty string so to verify that and this is what we are going to get. So there is no fifth character which has been extracted. Now, if you want the result in this format, it is fine. We can leave the SQL query as it is. But in case you want this to be appended as a single column, then you can simply go and use the string aggregation function. So we can use the string underscore hg function. For that, you have to pass on the string which you want to concatenate so all these rows the values in this column will be concatenated and the other argument that you need to define is what uh, is the delimiter that you want so if you don't want any delimiter you want them to be concatenated as single string you can just give empty or if you want a delimiter you can pass a pipe a comma or whatever is needed so now if you execute this you will get your result all in a single column so let's say you want a space in between those just to see that these are the odd number characters you can define the delimiter as a space so you can use the string act function if you're not sure how to use the string aggregation function then we have already done plenty of videos on this function so we will provide the link to those videos and you can check them out so this is one way in which you can extract the odd numbered positions now let's say you want to extract the even numbered position so you can just go and change the value over here you can say two and let's execute this so what you have got over here is all the even numbered uh, alphabets over here so you this is a variable that you can change the value of and then specify from where you want to uh, start so you can just manipulate your query that way maybe you want to start from the third digit and not from the first digit so let's make it three and you will get the only the odd numbered variables starting from the third alphabet and so on so you might have to do the query here and there but this is a very customizable solution that you can use to extract a uh, the characters at a particular position now the other solutions obviously which are possible to achieve the same results so if you know of any of those solutions and want to share them you can place them in the comments below i hope that this video was useful again thanks a lot for watching and if you like this video then please do not forget to subscribe to your youtube channel and also like comment and share this video thanks a lot for watching goodbye